The Vanderbilt Mansion on the Gold Coast of Long Island was built during the Jazz Age and retains the grand spirit of William K. Vanderbilt II, a railroad executive known as Willie K., who was once one of the richest men in America and built the place as his summer home. Willie K. was a yachtsman and an avid motorist who liked to race on the private motor parkway he built for himself from New York City out toward this 43-acre estate overlooking Long Island Sound, where he entertained royalty, movie stars, and lions of industry. But even this iconic symbol of wealth is not recession-proof. The mansion, which is now a public museum, is facing possible closure in January because of lack of funds. Yes, the Vanderbilt has hit rock bottom, and now donation boxes sit under the portraits and statues of Willie Kay and his great-grandfather, Cornelius Vanderbilt, who built a little thing called Grand Central Terminal. The biggest donation box sits in the museum courtyard, a Lincoln Navigator owned by the museum's chairman, Stephen Gittleman. He has put it on eBay to donate the proceeds to the museum. Oh, I was just uh, chairing the meeting and I was trying to encourage everybody to make donations and I was fooling around with my keys and so I gave them to the director who was sitting to my left. That's how it all came back. And now we have it with a sign on it, save the museum and people are throwing money in the windows. Will that save this place or, I mean, no, any, any way you can? Everything is tokenism. That's tokenism. <laughs> uh, you're not going to save the place with just donating one uh, Lincoln Navigator. That's not going to happen. They recently held the Save the Museum cocktail fundraiser, where visitors were asked for donations. I don't know, this isn't the Vanderbilts anymore, this is the people of Suffolk County. So it's important to keep it. We have uh, something in the area of 70,000 children who come here each year for school programs. What would Willie Kay do? Willie Kay? How would he keep it? Oh, I know what Willie Kay would have done. He would have gone out and he would have borrowed it. I think Willie, Willie Kay probably just would have decided he'd go sailing and worry about it when he got back.